hey guys welcome back so guys in this video we are going to learn about date and time function where we will be getting the current date and showing in different formats in php so guys, let's get started with it so let's move to our editor over here and i'll command current date we are going to start with so over here let's create one h4 tag and inside this open php is equal to is equal to is a shortcut to echo that let's give date function and inside this i want to get the current date so first we will take year month and date let's tell current date over here let's save and check this so this is how we get the current date value so guys now let us see i want to take out this like year month and date so we want this separate wise so for that, let us just do in h5 tag where open close where date function inside this, I want current year. So just give y current year, we will tell. Okay, see year, save and refresh. You can see the output, see year. Okay, so this is how we fetch that. So let's do for this also for the month and date copy paste and this will be for the month and this will be for the date over here let's change this to d and this will be yum month now this is how we work with the date function to fetch all the current date and years so guys now let's get started with current time let me just give hr tag to be separate let's copy this and paste so guys now over here inside this date function only we are going to use the time format also so for that h colon i colon s okay so h means hours i means minutes and this s means seconds so let me just refresh and bring here you can see current let me just change the thing the current time save and refresh you can see that current time but it's a wrong timing because we didn't set the time zone of your country so let's set that first open php and close php so where you can tell date underscore default underscore time zone time zone underscore set function inside this you are going to set your country time zone so my asia forward slash call kata okay save this and now you will get the correct time let's refresh so it's 738 right now let's refresh you can see 12 9 so right now it's working like this now guys let us take only the hours minutes and the seconds we want in separate so let's bring that let's give an h5 tag open php is equal to and close php so is equal to is a symbol to view your echo so let's give inside single quotes i want to give h this will be your r and let's copy and paste which will be one will be for minute m i n u t e minute and that is nothing but i and then for seconds seconds which will be the s so let's save this and you can get that values over here okay right now we want to check that it is am or pm for that sake you need to add just one thing let's give space and add small a okay lowercase a over here let's save refresh you can see that it's pm it's showing now so let's change to capital so for that you just need to remove this and add uppercase capital a save refresh you can see that capital pm has come so you can just add this over here am or pm let's give small a over here save and refresh yep guys so this is how we work with the current data and time things so guys now let's work on the date and time 
format so first we'll work with date let's get back to editor and for example we will store some date and we will work on that date format so let's create one variable inside php and now let us give dollar date where is equal to inside this i am going to give first year 2021 where the month is third and then we'll give date 25 so this is my stored date for example you can take from your database also this date format and now let's echo this date first echo where date format for this okay let's echo php open is equal to where you are going to echo this date let's echo first save and now let's see the output guys let's refresh you can see the date format for this okay so we will be working with this how can we show in different formats let's get back over here let's type h5 open php is equal to is equal to means uh, to echo that values so let's use date function where you are going to tell first i want date then month and the year okay capital y and then you have to pass this date inside this so you cannot directly pass your date over here because it is it will not count correctly so for that you have to use string to time function which will convert those and then it will show you in this format so let's see the output with this save and refresh so you can see this that is the date month and year so this is how we are showing and now let's convert into different format which is like i just want to show in different view okay the forward will be same i want to add forward slash over here let's refresh again you can see that it's given slash and let's give colon over here now let's copy paste again let's remove this and you can use this colon refresh you got this cool so guys now let us change this view from um, date month and year to will give month date and year so that will be like same thing first will come month and then date and then year so let's save and check the output again so this is the procedure of checking your date formats so if you have fetched from your database from your table that time you can convert this date into this formats so guys now let's get started with the time formats and all okay so let's comment here like time format let's copy and paste over here for this also for note purpose date format and let's start with this as simple let's assign a time for it open php close php where we are going to tell dollar time is equal to inside this i want to store 0 1 that is at 10 minutes am or pm so let's give pm right now and check this let's give h4 tag where time ti me time format for this time okay so let's copy this and echo let's is equal to and close paste save so now let's see this output of it so right now you can see that it's 110 pm which we have set on here let me just divide this with the hr2 horizontal row so guys now let us convert this in different formats so how will you do that so for that in that case let us change over here let's give php open and this close php where date function you will use and over here you will pass your hour and the minute and the second so minute is not you have to give i because m stands for month not minute so h i s this is seconds and now let's pass this time values so let's pass this time okay save and let's see the output you can see a non-numeric value okay so we cannot print that directly because it doesn't understand this date function so you need to convert that string to time function 
time function we have paste and now let's see that so you can see 110 at the 00 second it is so you want to add this pm also let's give that over here capital a or small a according to your requirement so you can see that 1 pm it has come if you don't want the seconds 00, zero just remove that s from here as simple let's get back refresh you can see same the output has come so now guys let us see uh, one more format to show this just copy and paste and now let us see this over here let's remove and we, we are going to use one time function so php provides one time function so let us see this output right now you can see that 1255 this is the current default time of our country and now uh, what is there in this time function so let me just show you one output let me just comment this and let's print it save and let's see what is the output for this you can see some random numbers which is shown as time format so this format only we are going to encode that and show in this format so let's remove this time and that is over here so which is solving that and showing into this format however you required so guys now in time format we have two formats one is 12 hour format one is 24 hours format so let us check with that also so let me click on this h5 and over here let's give time for 12 hours format format where we are going to echo php open is equal to what we are going to echo this so let's copy this and paste so this is the 12 hours format so let me just show over here you can see the output called time for 12 hour format is 10 pm then same for timing if you want to show in 24 hours format let's copy and paste and remove this a tag and give capital H so we are going to give capital H save this and now let's refresh you can see that uh, 13 it is shown right let's make it to 24 so let's save this you can see time for 24 hours format is right now 13 10 so guys now we have completed with this date and time basic things about so guys thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share